if you are still training large language models or LLMs from the scratch, then beware that that is the thing of past. It is not only very time consuming, but also very costly. Even the big corporations are very hesitant to spend that amount of coin on training the models from scratch. That is where fine tuning comes in. And in the fine tuning, state of the art parameter efficient fine tuning methods are the norm. PEFT is a short for state of the art parameter efficient fine tuning. This parameter efficient fine tuning methods or PEFT methods enable efficient adaptation of pre trained LLMs to various applications in various domains. There are various supported methods, and one of the most popular one is LoRa or Ada LoRa. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video's description where you can read more about all of the supported methods of PEFT, such as LoRa, Prefix Tuning, P Tuning, Prompt Tuning, Ada LoRa IA, Multitask Prompt Tuning, and there are few others which are emerging every week. In this video, I am going to quickly show you how you can see this PEFT in action. For this demo, I'm going to use this Google Colab. First thing we need to do is to install a couple of prerequisite libraries. So pip install transformers. Let's install it. Shouldn't take too long. And make sure that as a runtime, you are using T4. So if you go to runtime and then Click on change runtime. As you can see, I'm using TPU, so let me go with T4 TPU and then click OK and save. And then you might have to reinstall it. Just cancel and then click here. That should reinstall it. Let me clear up my other session and run it again. It is running now. Shouldn't take too long. As you can see, that it is running now properly. And while it runs, so that's done. Next thing we need to install is the PEFT library. So pip install PEFT. It's fairly quick. So let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Now, in the next step, I'm going to show you how you can use this PEFT. So here we are simply importing some of the modules which we will be using. This is a sample model I'm going to use. And this is the tokenizer which will be used with this model. And this is the PEFT config. And I'm using, as you can see, LoRa with it, the method. And then I'm just using the default for the other parameters. And then here I am sending it to the model and I'm getting the PEFT model. And this is where I'm printing the trainable parameters. So the idea behind PEFT is that what it does is that instead of retraining or fine tuning everything, every parameter in the model, it only train a very few select subset of that model, which reduces the time and reduces the cost. So you don't have to worry about all the billion parameter. It just fine tunes a subset of it. And if I run this code, it will show you that how many total parameters are there in this model, which is big size, empty, zero large, and how many this PEFT is going to train. First thing it is doing here is downloading that model, and it is only um, close to five gig. Shouldn't take too long on my Google Colab. And once it has downloaded this model, then it will tokenize it and then will tell us how many parameter PEFT is going to train out of the total ones. So let's wait for it to finish. Model has finished downloading. Now it is processing it as you can see here from the pre-trained one and then it will get the PEFT model. Let's wait for it to finish. That's finished. And you can see here that the total parameters were this much massive. 
whereas trainable parameters are simply closer to this 2 million and then so if you see the percentage of trainable that is you know just 0.19 so you can imagine how quick and how uh, cost optimized this method um, is so i believe that in the future more and more companies will be using PEFT methods to fine tune their large language models by using this simple code and all they need to do is to specify the model with a tokenizer and then pass on their PEFT config which is this and that's about it i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please put them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you